Okay, first grade. Last week we learned about explain everything and we practiced putting in a picture and editing that picture. And today we're going to use what we learned last week and a few new things this week to create a special project. So this is what my iPad screen looks like and I want to open the explain everything app. So if you remember, if I want to look for the Explain Everything app. This is what it looks like right over here, but if I don't see it on my main screen, I can always swipe down in this blank space between the apps, and that will me to my Spotlight search. My screen will look like this. This bar up here, I can type in the name of the app that I'm looking for on the keyboard, and usually I can just type in the first two letters and it'll still bring me to what I'm looking for. So for explain, I'm going to type in an E, X. It's going to bring me, you see I just have a couple letters up here, to my Explain Everything app, which I could just tap on to open. This is what I should see when I open the Explain Everything app. This is what they call the home page, where I can either open up a project that I've already started, or I can start a new project. And because I'm adding a new project in, I want to use the plus sign up here in the upper left hand corner because we use plus when we add. So I want to add a new project. Then it's going to have me select a background color. For this project, I'd like everyone to select this first template for a white background and then it's going to bring you to the main creation page of Explain Everything. Just a few things that I wanted to point out. The first thing that we want to do is add in a photo of ourselves. Last week we all took a selfie photo and that's the photo that I would like you to add in. Now if for some reason you had deleted your selfie or you weren't here last week, you can go back out to your camera app and take that selfie. You may ask a friend to help you if you need help doing that. But once I know I have a selfie in there and I want to add in a photo, again I go to the plus sign right over here and that shows me that I can add in a photo or video right in this area. Okay, So I'm going to tap adding a photo or video And it's going to bring me to this page where I see that it's asking me where do I want to get that photo from. And I want to go into my photos right here with the little rainbow flower looking icon. It's going to bring me to my photos. And if you notice down here, I have these little dots on the page. That shows me that I have four dots. That means I have four pages worth of photos. And if I want to see my other photos, I can swipe to the left or to the right to see the other pictures I have. So when I swipe to the right, it shows me another page of pictures here, and I see the selfie that I took last week right over here, and so that's what I'm going to select to put in my project. Now it's going to bring me to a screen that looks like this, where I can edit my photo. Notice up here it says edit image. Last week we talked about how to use the crop tool, which is this little square looking button right there. And we trace the area that we want to crop, and it'll bring us to a screen that looks like where the area that we traced with our finger is now kind of in a shadow. And if we're sure that that's what we want to crop, we hit done up here. And this is what it will do to your photo. But I've decided that I don't want all of these things in the background to show. So I'm going to use a different tool, a new one that we haven't talked about yet. This little lasso looking oval up here is what we can use if we want to trace exactly what we would like to cut out. So I'm going to select that. Notice now that it's highlighted in blue because I've selected it. 
and I'm going to use my finger to trace exactly what I would like. So notice that there's a green line being drawn there. That's where my finger has drawn, and I'm going to continue until the whole thing I've traced with the, my finger, and now I've cut out all of that background because I hit done. And now I've decided that I want to try that again because I actually don't want my hair, I only want my face. So I'm going to select my lasso tool up here again and I'm going to trace this area right around my face to cut out my hair. Just like that. And then I hit done to show that that's what I want. And so now there you see just my face. Now I've decided that this is what I would like to put into my Explain Everything project. So I'm going to hit Done again, and it's going to this page. I've pinched my photo here to make it really big. So remember, when we pinch out, we can make our head really big, or when we pinch, it can make our picture really little. Now what I'm going to ask you guys to do is to keep your head a little or average size so that we can turn ourselves into a character from one of our favorite books. So now that we have our face, we're going to draw the character's clothing around us. And so we're going to use the drawing tools. I just wanted to remind you that down here in the corner, it's going to show you different colors. Usually there are only three showing. If you would like to select a color that is not one of those down there, you tap and hold on one of those colors and the color palette will come up for you so that you could choose a color that's more specific. I wanted my red to be a little bit redder than the pink color that's showing, so I'm actually going to tap inside this rainbow wheel and make it a little bit redder. Up here in the pen or drawing tool, if I tap and hold that, I can change the thickness of my pencil. When I'm just trying to draw a line, it's better to choose a thinner pencil, like one over here. And if I'm trying to color something in, it's better to choose a thicker pencil so it won't take me as long to color in all of the white space. So now that I've selected my color and the medium thickness pencil, I can start drawing around my face. And after I spent a few minutes on this, this is what I came up with. You can see I imported my face three different times to create three different characters from The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss. That I'm Thing One, The Cat in the Hat, and even the goldfish. So that's what I'd like you to work on in the time that's remaining. If we don't finish today, we will have some time to continue next week. If I do finish my drawing by the end of the period, I want to save it to my camera roll. So what I'm going to do is select this little box in the bottom right hand corner with the arrow pointing up and that's going to bring me to my photos. I'm going to select photos and export and it will export my photo into my... The last step if you do finish your drawing